This storm has done more than just cause power outages, though. New Center Maine's Alex Haskell has a look at the impact of this storm for us tonight. Hey, Alex. Hey, Zach. So the snow has pretty much stopped here in Portland, but what it has left behind are some pretty strong winds and this heavy and wet snow. Fun for the kids, but probably not for those having to clean it up. Uh, now, this has led to some tough road conditions and quite the mess across the state. Flakes flying across the state, hour after hour, inch by inch, the snow and wells piling up fast. It's pretty heavy. Bob Lavoy has lived in town for more than 30 years. I've seen some pretty substantial storms. This one's not uh, probably going to rise to that level. But it still had an impact. The storm made for tough travel on the main turnpike, with cars like this one in Saco sliding off the road and three tractor trailer trucks stuck on the northbound lanes of the Piscataqua River Bridge on the Maine-New Hampshire border. Maine State Police said icy conditions were to blame. One driver who shared these pictures said she was stuck on the bridge for over an hour. A lot of ice stuck to the actual road. We met one brave driver in Kennebunk heading home from a concert. I've just been to see John Mayer in Boston. Um, it was great. What do you think of this weather right now? <laughs> well, the winter has been going on for quite a long time and um, I'll be glad, to, uh, be glad to see the back of it. That wind along with the weight of wet snow brought down this power line in Nobleboro. All of this has some Mainers hoping this storm is our last. Um, I've had enough for this year. I'm, I'm ready for uh, maple syrup to flow. Now, my fiance texted me not too long ago. He said our power is out, just like many others. CMP says it will be working through the night and tomorrow to restore power. But Zach, how much work these crews can get done really depends on these high winds. All right, Alex Haskell live in Portland tonight. Thanks so much.